Norwood author and historian Patty Fanning has teamed up with the school department's Jack Tolman to produce short Norwood-based historical videos. Also involved in this project was Julie Kayer, a third grade teacher at the Balt School. The goal is to share them as history curriculum with all third graders, now and for years to come. NCM is sharing them with the community by including them in Norwood News and will continue to broadcast them in the fall. First up, let's learn about the George F. Willett. George F. Willett had a greater impact on the development of Norwood than anyone else in the history of the town. He was born in Walpole, attended local schools, and went to Boston University, where he studied industrial chemistry. He married Edith Winslow of Norwood. Willett was a business genius. He eventually controlled many businesses, including the Winslow Brothers Tannery and the Lyman Smith & Sons Tannery in Norwood. Willett created the pond near today's St. Timothy's Church. He also encouraged residents to use the pond for swimming and fishing. He bought more businesses and became a millionaire before he was 25 years old. Then, he decided that he would improve the town. George Willett redesigned the center of Norwood. He bought old buildings and moved them so new, large, modern buildings could be built. It was his idea to widen and pave Washington Street. It had been an unpaved road until then. He was the chairman of Norwood's first planning board, which came up with a plan to redesign much of the town. Through this committee, Willett was responsible for the creation of the town common and the buildings that surround it. George Willett had many ideas and a great deal of energy. He convinced many people to follow his lead. He tried hard to make life better for everyone in Norwood. He worked to lower the local taxes and to change the entire system of town government. He started a bank called the Norwood Trust Company and opened a public health center, which later became the Norwood Hospital. He founded the Norwood Civic Association, which was located on land that now belongs to Norwood Hospital as a meeting place and to provide recreation for boys, girls, and adults throughout the town. Willa also wanted to help people buy their own homes. He started the Norwood Housing Association to purchase land all over town so he could build homes, parks, and playgrounds. His housing association would buy the land and his bank would help finance the building of the houses so that young families moving into town could afford a home. It was an ambitious plan. George Willett did other interesting things too. He was called to Washington, D.C. to help advise the government during World War I, and he was an Olympian. He competed in the 1932 Winter Olympics at Lake Placid, New York, as a member of the U.S. curling team. Curling was not an official Olympic event at that time, so it was a non-medal demonstration competition. Today, however, curling is an official Olympic event. Although some of his plans for Norwood did not come to be, George Willett is remembered for changing the town for the better through his vision, hard work, and devotion to this community. That was a very interesting video, and now we know why the school was named the George F. Willett School. Thank you to Patty Fanning and Jack Tolman, and we look forward to watching more of your videos.